Would you all agree? I agree. Yes, okay. Now that we're all clear on that. Okay, I have dreadlocks. So I hate Facebook. I know that sounds non secretary but it's all gonna come together. In a minute. Okay, so I hate Facebook, but last night I was on Facebook um, making fun of Lauren. Yes. <laughs> But only because she's my little sister and I love her. Can't nobody else do that or else I'll find you in a dark alley. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, that's okay. All right. So anyway, um, I ran up on this article and the article was talking about a seven-year-old girl in Oklahoma who had just been expelled from school because the school board said that her hair, which was dreadlocks, was inappropriate. Yeah, everyone goes, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what it made me think of was um, I have a little girl, and um, she's black like me, okay? And um, <laughs> when uh, she was three years old, she was in daycare. And I remember one day I went to her daycare to pick her up, and just as happy as three year olds go, she points at my hair and she goes, No, oh, that's gross! And my whole face dropped. Because I realized that that was something that somebody at her school had taught her, and I didn't know how to combat that. So all night long, I taught my three-year-old to point at my hair and go, black is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and every time she would forget it, I would point at my hair and she goes, black is beautiful. Right? And just all excited the way three-year-olds do. So the next day, we go to the school, and I call the teacher and the lunch lady and the nurse and the front desk receptionist all together, and I say, I taught her this new trick and I want to show you guys everything that I taught her how to do, right? So I pointed at my hair and she said, that is beautiful. And then I looked at them and I explained to them that when I got home that day, that she needed to believe the same thing. We have to teach our children the way in which we want them to go. We have to teach them to respect and love their culture. Not only that, we have to teach them how to love and respect themselves, especially our little girls, especially our little girls. And that leads me into my next piece, all right, <laughs> which, uh, which is a, uh, my next piece is about teaching our little girls how to respect themselves and what happens when we don't make that lesson well learned. Because my mama told me so. Because my mama told me so. Because when it's all about the prize between her thighs, a dime nine times out of ten, short changes herself, rearranges herself. Forgets when mama told her she was work her weight in gold and the boys on the block might not tell her about that. Might forget to let her know. Might remember her number but forget to call, forget her name and just charge that to the game so nothing gold can stay. And now she spends all her change on weave and wall paint, still trying to paint fall to look like spring, bronze this Georgia peach. Dip it in diamonds and platinum, call it fashion distraction cause not everything that glitters is gold but still the dude in the bins might not tell her about that. Might put a price tag on it and call her a gold digger. Might call her bitch until she forgets her name, forgets her worth. Forgets when mama told her she was worth her weight in gold, so a dime nine times out of ten short changes herself, rearranges herself. Always on this, gotta get some cash, get some change for herself, taking it all out of sorts. So now she's just a nickel and a couple of browns and three pennies short, and you know it's always in their mouth to say about that. Talk about how bad she looks, and forget about how much they took. But still the dude on the tape might not tell her about that. Might just be about his too. Might eat up all her food and call her a fool. Take a penny for the road and call her a hoe. So she's another brown down and still got to keep her bills in line. So at the first of the month, she's just a five cent dime. Still calling Christmas July. Lost track of all the time spent getting what she could get and forgetting what she was worth. Paying the difference herself. So she never had a chance but to come up short when every day where she be, it's Hey, pretty girl, pretty girl. They always in her ear. Hey, pretty girl, pretty girl. You got any change to spare? You show is a dime. You show is beautiful. You show is beautiful. 
So these days, I teach my little girl to say, Thank you and I know, my mama told me so. Told me every day that I was worth my weight in gold. Taught me mathematics, I can add it and subtract it. So I'm a dime, the dare to dream and multiply the ten. Call me a queen, I said, cause I'm a silver dollar and I, I ain't got no change to spare. I said, I'm a silver dollar and I can't make no change. I can't rearrange because my mama told me so. Because my mama told me so. Thank you.